This is a website that I just created using Perplexity AI, and I don't have to write any lengthy prompt to create this professional looking website because I use a feature in Perplexity that let me create a website that look like this in just a few minutes. And again, there is no prompt whatsoever. It's just an instruction to create a website. So in this video, I'll show you how you can create a great looking website using Perplexity AI. And later I'll show you how you can deploy the website to the internet so everybody can access it. Okay, so before I show you how you can create a website like this, there is one trick here that I actually use. So the reason why I able to create that kind of website with just this simple prompt is because I actually provided a picture to Perplexity to recreate a website based on that picture. So that's the key to get this kind of look with just simple prompting. And I think this is actually quite clever because there are so many great looking websites out there. You can use platforms like awards.com or dribble.com to see some website inspirations that you might want to replicate using perplexity. Or you can also just go to Google images and search for some website design inspiration and then you can copy the image and paste that into perplexity. Now for this example, I'll just to use Google images and I want to create, let's say, a photography website. Let's try that. And yeah, there are a lot of designs. Let's see which one that I think could be recreated i highly recommend to, to to get a picture of a website that's actually full like it's screenshot from top to the bottom section of the website okay let me see if there's anything that i want to use or okay maybe this one not the best looking but it has the full length of the website so i guess i'm going to be using this picture and i'm going to just right click save the image to my computer all right, now let's navigate to Perplexity. And here I'm going to click this button, select local files, and select this picture. And I'll just send a simple prompt. Create a website based on the design of the website screenshot I provided. Okay, that's the instruction and of course we have to use a feature called perplexity labs that's what makes it possible now technically you can produce some codes using the regular version of perplexity but you cannot execute the code in perplexity so i do recommend to use perplexity labs and by the way this feature is only exists for enterprise and pro users so you have to be in that plan but if you're still using the free version you can get 10 dollar discount on your first month of perplexity using the link in the video description anyway you can click this if you want to make AI to do a research first. You can enable web, academic, or social, but in this case, I'll just use web search. And after that, send the message and wait for perplexity to create your full website. So this process will take quite a while. It could, it could take some anywhere between 3 to 10 minutes, depending on the complexity of the website. So I'll just skip forward and show you the result. By the way, the process is still ongoing, but I believe it should be done very, very soon. And I just want to add some remarks here that uh, even though this seems to be trivial, uh, I think the use case of Perplexity Labs is quite interesting because you could use it to, let's say, turn a Figma design into a website. And you can also use, uh, some, some people even use Canva to create a sketch of the website and then later they they turn that into a website using this AI tool like Perplexity Labs. So apparently the website has been created and you might have noticed something that there is no picture which is kind of understandable because uh, it's just a bunch of code. There is no picture whatsoever. And that's why if you want to add some pictures into the website, uh, you can use, you can provide the URL of the picture in the prompt, like you can make the prompt to be as detailed as possible if you want to make some changes on the design. And I think that's very important because even though you can ask Perplexity again to, let's say, change the text, change the button, the color, etc. In, in practice, you probably don't want to do that because from my experience going back and forth with Perplexity Labs, it is actually the second iteration of the website is usually not going to be the same as the original website. So maybe the color will be different, the position will be different, etc. So you want to make sure that the first creation is correct. If it doesn't occur, if it doesn't work, then you might want to create a new perplexity lab strategy again using a slightly different form. So that's the 
the best practice when you are using this tool to create a website now uh, let me preview the website let's click view full screen and what's unique about it is that this website is technically online with this url and anybody can open it but i don't know how long it will hold this uh url and you know at some point maybe you're not going to be using perplexity again so if you want to acquire this website you want to upload it somewhere or deploy it to the internet then here's how you can do it so let's go back to perplexity labs again and i'll navigate to assets and you can see that there are multiple files being created and you want to download all of them click this button this download button to download all the files including index.html style.css and app.js now this is the file that has been downloaded and i want to upload that to the internet there are many platforms that you can use you can use netlify you can also use let's say cloudflare pages that's another option uh, this is very popular and you can also use Purcell but i do not recommend using Purcell and cloudflare pages especially if you're not a developer because these two are best when you're using github so you have to deploy the website to github first and then actually not deploy you have to upload that to the github repository and then deploy that from there but if you're using netlify it's much easier you can just drag and drop the codes into this platform so you can create a free account on netlify.com and then log in and let me show you how you can upload that codes from perplexity labs into netlify so i'm going to click add new project deploy manually and i'm going to just drag and drop this file just wait for it to be deployed and it's usually going to be very quick because well it's just a, a simple uh, website with just a few files and there you go the website has been published let's click open production deploy and yeah this is the website with a new url that uh, you can change later you can also add your own subdomain and yeah that's uh, basically it of course I, I don't i won't say that this is the best way to create a website using ai i think it is much better to use something like cursor windsor or firebase studio to create a website but again it's an interesting use case of perplexity labs that i think you can use right away if you are a big perplexity user i think this is going to be quite useful so go ahead use perplexity labs to create all sort of website or maybe online calculators or applications using this feature so if you find this video to be interesting or if you learn something from this video then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead